day, fellow Grisons. This is sexy rough voice coming here. Welcome back to Language and News from the Future, and finally featuring the anniversary SP hero that she that we shared get last year on the third year anniversary instead of the fourth year, fourth year featuring SP Mushu or Matthew in the global version. So yeah, we'll be going through on the talent and two new exclusive skills for him. So, are you guys ready? Let's get started. And before that, a very great thanks to information shared and provided by the Language and Mobile app, aka Mung Pa Mui Zhan. So you, all right. So his sexy form has been waiting very long and finally and apparently he's not an assassin class um, he is a well hero infantry class even though his SP and this means his movement speed is still 3 which is not looking too bright for him <laughs> So right, his talent is known as Interwine Bonds or Interwine Fitters. All right, his talent, though I gotta say it's short and sweet. Number one, ignore skill cost limit. And two, for each allies on field, increase your attack and defense by 5%. It's being kept at a maximum of 25%. It means a maximum of five allies. So, yep. <laughs> you might need um well summons help to add on to five allies um, i'm gonna presume this is not counting in to himself and a sad news for you guys unlike sp grenier unlike one of the happy trio sp matthew is not free from event he is a paid hero meaning you gotta go do the urea um Specially, special crystal summoning so if you're unlucky the max you need to spend is 4,000 crystals so if you're a fan of SP Mushu guys gotta save up your wallet <laughs> or well your crystal then for number three if you have attack this turn when you end your turn you can trigger the skill effect back to the past Yep, we're not going back to the future, but back to the past. Triggering these skills will allow you to return to the position and state when your turn starts. This effect has a cooldown of 2 CD upon trigger. And yep, as the skill effect state, returning you to back to the state is that, for example, if you try to deal damage on attack Bozo right now, um, you're going to gain, let's say, to debuff however you can trigger this return back to the past skills meaning back to when your turn start positions where you do not have the debuff and that means that however um, triggering these skills and when you end your turn your buff that you bring with you will still be reduced accordingly um, the main benefit about this is to rewind your states uh, to clear off debuff and cooldown of the skills based on what I have um, interact and uh, interact with the CM players. They um, shown and tell me that the if uh, they didn't show me, they just tell me that uh, ability will um, remove the debuff from when your turn start before you gain the debuff, and also um, when you move and cast, let's say, a skill with five CD. After using that skills and you trigger this, you reset your skills again. So this is pretty awesome for this. And you're beginning a new um, third year anniversary soldiers unit. Um, Sandbeach Merchant or Sandbeach Mercenary. So um, kind of disappointed. I, I was hoping that they would give him the new fourth anniversary soldiers units on word. All right, um, let's repeat again. So for his talent, number one, ignore skill cost limit. Number two, for each ally on the field, increase your attack and defense by 5%. It's capped at 25% max. 
tree if you have attacked this turn when you end your turn you can trigger the skill back to the past return you to the position and state when your turn start the um, upon triggering this skill you have to CD before you can trigger the skills again oh another interesting thing to take note is um, you gain um, returning to the back to the past not only um, reset your CD of your skills you also regain back your lost HP for your whole unit so it's kind of like um, recovery like cleansing yourself and transferring back to the previous position so when fighting you gotta plan your positions correctly so that you won't um, get messed up with your momentum and I do not know what will happen if the current positions you are standing at has been preoccupied by an ally so I oh know this is definitely not gonna happen because um after battle when you trigger you definitely go into position because no one's gonna get to your um, current position yet um, yeah so I guess nothing to clash with all right moving on to exclusive skill one is known as companions memory is a type support passive and the cost is only one so effect are as follow when there are allies two squares or tiles around you increase attack by eight percent when initiating battle you heal hp based on 20 percent on damage deal after the battle so they give him a self uh, inbuilt HP recovery skills or which is 100% unlike um, the previous passive which you have only have 30% chance to gain HP recovery so pretty straightforward so again his passive one um, when there are allies two squares or tiles around you increase attack by 8% two when initiating battle heal HP based on 20% of damage deal of the battle um, then moving on to exclusive skill 2 known as sky breaking crash the type is a physical AOE cost 2 and has a cooldown of 5 turns so 1 teleport to skill target point and 2 deal 0 0.33 times AOE damage to enemies 2 squares or tiles around you after the teleport or after teleportation Tree reduce the intelligence and attack of enemies by 10% and fourth enemies will not be able to receive buff effect and five dispel two debuff uh, sorry dispel two buff from each enemies that got hit by the skill and six enemies who are one squares or tiles beside you will be deal with 30% extra damage so this means if one enemy is standing on up down left right of you instead of taking 100 damage they'll be taking 130 damage instead um, not too much and I gotta say um, it's kind of little for the current batch right now he do not have too much of a self inbuilt damage and he relies on the number of allies on the field to have um, increment of his attack so slightly disappointed all right let's repeat again so exclusive skill 2 sky breaking crash number one teleport to a skill target point to release your aoe skills number two AOE skills will deal 0 0.33 times AOE damage to enemies, two squares or towns around you after teleportations. 3. Reduce the intelligence and attack of enemies by 10%. 4. Enemies will not be able to receive buff effect. Five dispel two buff from each enemy. 6. Enemies who are one squares or tiles beside you will be dealt with extra 30% damage.
So do note that um, for point three and four, reducing intelligence and attack of enemies by ten percent, an enemy will not be able to receive buff effect will last for two turns. And that's it for SP Manchu. Personally, I gotta say I feel um, disappointing comparing him with um, anniversary hero like. Zerida 2.0, Lucretia 2.0, and also Wet Ham. I personally was hoping more for Mashu himself to be even stronger um, just based on his talent alone. However, the only great thing about his talent is um, ignoring cause and able to return back to the past. Um, but for his attack buffing ability you got to heavily relying on number of allies on the field so he's definitely um, in PvP wise he's definitely um, not the hero that you want to survive on the field last because if he's a last hero on the field he's definitely the worst and they are not doing anything to um, patch up his 3C effect because when casting his 3C, you got to reduce um, 20 or 30 percent of your HP, and that's kind of well, it's putting him in a very great disadvantage in this current patch. Even comparing to um, correct a collab hero Leon from the Trails of Skies, his summon unit has. Um, tanking abilities and also upon death it will gain some buff like even um, give him uh, recovering HP recovering for himself however um, they do not do any buff to Mashu 3C is still weak even though the 3C has other skills however that's the same however that said that's the same goes for um, Trails of Skies um, Leon Hart Sword Emperor, his 3C summon also have AoE skills and also have um, stun effect which is even better so overall I gotta say I am uh, I'm glad they do a SP for him but um, still disappointed about his SP form I mean compared to SP Grenier it really seems like SP Grenier looks more like the <laughs> I hate to say this but yeah it looks like SP Grenier is the actual protagonist instead of SP Mashu. Um, overall right now the current best and, and not to mention um, to combo with his um, talent ability of returning to the past the current meta will kind of force you to um, rewash your class. So um, in the game, they will give you a free um, skill reset stone. So when you, I'm not sure, is it free straight or when you after summoning for SP Mashu? Because I'm not spending my crystal on him right now. I'm trying my best to get Zerita 2.0. So for SP Mashu, um, the best path that for you to choose is to choose um, Calvary class or Dragon class. Calvary class is because Calvary class has the act against skills so you can cast um, the Calvary act against skills and then spam your 2C or 3C AoE skills against enemy and then you can trigger back to the past and you can reset all cooldowns of your skills which is cool. Then second is for Dragon. Dragon class is not relying on the active skills but on the passive 30% chance of act again. So um, after attacking and you trigger the AOE or uh, any damage towards the enemy, then you're going to trigger um, return back to the past. Then you're going to, if by chance you're lucky, you're going to trigger your 30% luck of Act again 
and hopefully you can do a second attack against the enemy so to push his limit to the max right now um, his cavalry class for SP so the best you want to go for enchantment is really breeze to let him gain um, plus two movement so you become a plus I uh, become a five movement hero and hopefully he triggers at the end of the turn so on the next turn when you activate your return back to the past um, you can still retain the breeze but no it, it, it can't because um, apparently buff you had will still be reduced normally so um, well the best option right now is still to give him breeze in order to fully maximize his movement and damage ability so what did you guys think is it good bad or normal for SP Mashu leave it down in the comment section below and voice out your thoughts so this is coming we've come to the end hopefully this video helped remember to like and subscribe we'll see you guys and of course watch till the end for the text I've done for you guys for the translations this is coming and goodbye Good days.